Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays B1966? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does B1966 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Dodge vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code B1966 interpret specifically Dodge car manufacturers? The basic definition is idle speed too high. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. DTC P0102, P0103, P0107, P0108, P0121, P0123, P0300, P0301, P0306, P0401, P0405, P0440, P0442, P0446, P0502, P0503, P1404 and P1441 not set, engine started, engine runtime over 2 minutes, system voltage over 100V, vehicle speed less than 3 miles per hour, ECT sensor more than 158F, IAT sensor more than 5F, TP angle less than 1%, Baro sensor more than 65 kPa, and the PCM detected that actual idle speed was more than 75 revolutions per minute higher than desired idle speed for 15 seconds. The IAC valve, mounted on the throttle body, is used Used to control the engine idle speed the IAC valve pintle moves in and out of an idle air passage or to control airflow past the throttle plate the IAC valve consists of a movable pintle, driven by a gear attached to an electric motor called a stepper motor the stepper motor is capable of highly accurate rotation called steps the stepper motor has two separate windings called coils each coil is supplied current by two circuits from the PCM each time the coil changes polarity the stepper motor The moves one step the PCM uses a predetermined number of counts to calculate IAC pintle position. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. 
engine vacuum leaks, PCM valve is leaking or the wrong valve idle air inlet passage or throttle bore is dirty or full of deposits IAC valve is damaged or has failed MAF sensor is dirty, skewed or installed improperly throttle plate, throttle shaft or linkage is damaged or sticking PCM has failed. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.